Greetings, wise ones. This is Melissa from 8th House Wisdom, author, psychotherapist, astrologer, feminine energy, and stellar planning expert. I'm here with the video for Leo season, healing crystals, and to talk about charging crystals in the sun, do's and don'ts, so that you can get the most out of working with the healing power of the earth. If you're interested in this content, stay tuned for the rest of the video. We are in the final days of Leo season, where we have been working to open up our heart. One of the areas of the body that Leo rules, in addition to the spine and the circulatory system, right? Um, Thinking about the cowardly lion in The Wizard of Oz, and how his lifetime journey was to develop courage and only have a heart is a really interesting metaphor for astrology. And it makes sense that most of the crystals that we are talking about for Leo season in terms of working with them some of them can in small ways be charged by leo's power of the sun and if they cannot be charged by the power of the sun then they have already captured that energy and reflected to us in its color and intensity As I'm recording this video, it has been a pretty wild third week of August where we've experienced some really heavy energetics involving Saturn, the Lord of Karma, Uranus, the revolutionary, Venus, the lover and attractor of money, and Jupiter, the expander. All of that means for us that We have to work on really staying heart-centered and opened up during this kind of roller coaster ride of emotions. We're going to be feeling a lot of energy and activation in our heart, in our spine, even in our circulatory system, getting warm, um, raising of blood pressure. And so... Remember that Leo is a fixed sign. Um, It's a fixed authority sign. It anchors the season. And and that energy has a tendency to be hardy and reluctant to let go. Uh, One of the reasons why Leo represents kingly, queenly, royalty energy. Because they, that energy has a anchoring presence about it when it's in its best form. Um, Leos who have gone through their journey and have banished their cowardly lion know how to show up, love themselves, congratulate themselves, a skill that many of us need to work on. It is not vain to congratulate yourself. It turns you into a praise junkie if you're waiting for somebody else to high five you or give you praise. It turns you, when you offer praise, it turns you into a person who is balanced, um, who can love with your whole heart, who doesn't have deficits in those areas, and then can be magnanimous like this energy that can be giving, um, truly giving a heartfelt, warm compliments and things of the like um, without it diminishing you or without um, 
eventually experiencing a sense of resentment when the same isn't provided to you because you already come from a wellspring of warmth and passion and love for yourself even if anybody else isn't doing that good thing about the healing crystals that I recommend not only for Leo season but also remember these crystals are really good to use when the moon is in Leo and the moon travels and visits every sign once a month so these crystals that I'm talking about during this fire-based zodiac sign are going to help you in your outer world because fire signs have masculine energy. It's going to help you with your sense of inspiration, your activity, and help you work with the spirited and fiery, unpredictable element that is fire, you know? Um, The element that clears and cleans things from top to bottom by pretty much leaving nothing in its wake. Um, But ash that will fertilize new ground. So the three crystals that I recommend during this particular time are onyx because of its ability to protect and strengthen and provide grounding for a stressful time. And we did just have a T-square in the sky that activated um, Leo, Aquarius, and, um, excuse me, Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus. So now would be a really good time. And remember, aspects have an afterglow. So you're still going to be experiencing that even as the planets start separating. You'll still be experiencing the energetic reverb from their meetup. Um, And so this stone, again, will protect and strengthen and give you some grounding energy. Um... Carnelian, which is a beautiful orange stone that um, not only reflects one of Leo's power colors, but it really helps inspire new ideas, creative expression, restoring vitality, right? Um, Those are all things that are associated with Leo. Fun, playfulness, heart-centered living, vitality, right? Creativity, um, as that's something that this sign um, rules, so that's really important. Um, And then the last crystal is citrine. Now, citrine is a very powerful crystal. It is known to generate wealth and make money. It also helps you clear negative energy and anxiety from your system. Um, If you are looking to make money moves citrine is something you want to have in your space and available to you it is a beautiful yellow color um light colored yellow uh crystal and it shows up in different shades and that leads me into the discussion about sunlight and crystals because citrine is the only crystal recommended that is not suited for char- being charged in the sun. And the reason I'm focusing on the sun is because Leo is the sign that is ruled by the sun. And Crystals are living beings and we charge them with the energy of the planets, um, particularly or luminaries, light-giving planets um, or bodies to help us kind of capture that in our day-to-day activity. Um, Because I'm a feminine energy person and a feminine energy expert, I tend to charge my crystals by the moonlight because the moon is our feminine body in the sky. But the sun is the masculine body. So when you want to tap into the masculine, 
structures of the world, that's when you want to think about charging your crystals by day. Um, That gives a different kind of energy. But there are some things that you need to know because charging crystals by the sun are a bit more complicated than working with the moon. Primarily because of the fact that crystals grow in underground, oftentimes, and with in darkness. And so not every crystal is a fan of direct sunlight or UV light. So knowing what set of crystals are safe to work with and those that are not are really important to know. Um, Additionally, checking out and making sure that you're mindful of any crystals that have points or multifaceted points because clear crystals like quartz and other things that have been shaped in that way become direct currents for sunlight or UV rays and you can use a crystal the same way you would use a mirror to either heat something up, melt something, or start a fire because of the concentration of light and heat. So we want to make sure that we're watching out for that as well. Um, And in some instances, crystals that are not suited for the sun will become brittle and break apart. So I'm going to run down a brief list of crystals that can be charged by the sun. The list that cannot is much longer and if you want to know more about that make sure you head over to uh, my blog The Wisdom Well um, and the link is in the description for that so that you can see the list of crystals not to charge um, in the sun but those that are pro sunlight are black obsidian because of its dark color and it's really a classy volcanic rock black onyx which is one of the Leo stones that we're talking about. Its color is dark and it will not fade. Carnelian, because of its orange color, which is a Leo color, um, that's also one of the the stones that I recommended, like I said, so it's generally okay in the sun. How light, because there's no pigment or color to fade. Jade, Labradorite, Lapis Lazuli, Morganite, Malachite, and Moonstone. I bring this up because you would normally charge a Moonstone under the energy of the moon. But when you charge it by the sun, you can help balance its masculine, feminine, yin, yang, and, and excuse me, yin, yang energy. Last two stones sunstone again that's an orange stone and it's generally okay in the sun and tourmaline if you are a person who is into crystals you might have noticed that most of these stones have more of an opaque finish about them they have what from our eye structure a less crystalline structure that we can see um, in the sense of thinking about something that looks like a diamond or a ruby that's translucent Um, the more translucent the stone the more you need to pay attention to what you're doing with them and how you have them in the sun and so All of these, I would generally not recommend having charged for super long periods of time. You can do four hours or so. You may want to set them out during the time of a planetary hour if you're trying to charge the sun it with sunlight in a way to give your crystal an even deeper layer of complexity in the charge Um, and if in in doing that then you'll need to be precise and put it out directly in between the particular planetary hour Um, 
And that is something you can quickly Google to look at a table that will tell you what those hours are. So I hope that this has been an insightful video for you um, and that you found something of use here. Um, check out in the description below the link for purchasing all of the Leo healing crystals that I recommended. And you can use my coupon code Eighth House Wisdom for an 11% discount on everything available. These are ethically sourced, high quality crystals and you can trust what you're getting and what you will do with them. Um, they come, you can get things in bulk and they have amazing packages of multifaceted crystals and multiple types of crystals for you. Um, so do make sure to check those them out and if you'd like to know more about lunar placement, um, about where Leo falls in your chart, for me, Leo rules my third house of communication. And for my business, Leo represents my soulmate client. Um, and so that means it's a great time for me to be putting out content to connect with new people. And it's also a great time for me to connect with new clients and new people. How do I know this? Well, I know my birth chart and I know my business birth chart. On my website, you can get a free copy of yours using the link. Just click it and put in your birth information and you'll get a free copy of your chart. It is important to know your exact time for accuracy, but we can still get you a map of the sky to start with so you can begin to work with a lot of these ideas and principles. Having said that, thank you so much for hanging out with me to talk about Leo season, healing crystals, and charging crystals by the sun. Again, if you want to check out that list of crystals that cannot be charged, head over to my blog, The Wisdom Well, so that you can see the blog post that will give you that list. And until next time, wise one, sending you lots of light and love. Take care. <laughs>